Remember when Uva Bowl was the biggest problem with video game to movie adaptations? I never thought I'd see the day when someone else could top his reputation off and make us forget that Uva Bowl killed any chances of a good video game adaptation. But just when we thought that the worst was over, Paul Wuss Anderson jumps out of the shrubs and tags in to continue sharding on the video game to movie adaptations. The latest franchise he left behind as an abandoned Frankenstein fetus was with the Resident Evil live-action films. He released up to six movies, and only the first one could be considered semi-loyal to the franchise. Everything that was released afterwards was basically a sequel to Ultraviolet. Nothing related to the original source material of RE. In fact, it had more to do with Paul's family than anything. His waifu was the main character, his daughter became the Red Queen. And who was the real villain all along as well? It wasn't Wesker, oh no. It was Paul's waifu! Everything revolved around Paul's waifu. She was always nothing but the center of attention. And, uh, last time I checked, Alice is not a character in the Resident Evil franchise. The movie series was a joke. And it was almost as if Uva Bowl was back. But he went through plastic surgery to pretend to be someone else and continue to ruin more video game movie adaptations. But you know what I loved about Uva Bowl's movies? They always went straight to DVD. So they never got the attention they wanted, which is well deserved for not giving a crap about the fans who wanted a well represented video game adaptation. And what really sucks is that Paul must have some of the best connections in the business because no matter how mediocre his films are, they always hit theaters. It just makes no sense to me. How is it that he continued to get enough support to continue releasing more sequels to a movie series that's only using the Resident Evil name to sell tickets? No true fan of the series wanted to see another one of his movies. But that didn't stop Paul from further butchering the Resident Evil name. If it didn't end with 6, and it was up to him, he'd make 20 or more RE films and continue not giving a damn about the series just to further shine that spotlight at his family and pretend that he loves the game series. That is the real reason why he ended the sixth movie with Alice still alive even though she was meant to die at the very end. It just baffles me to see just how many sequels it got. And then you look at the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy and just because the third film was not as good as the second one, they immediately canceled the fourth film. Or with the movie Dread, that didn't even get a single sequel. It's just embarrassing to see what does get a shit ton of sequels when the reputation of the director himself is as bad as M. Night Shyamalan's. But I guess just like with that director, he started off good by making Event Horizon, and I'll even admit that his first video game movie adaptation was a pretty good film, that being Mortal Kombat. Because even though it did not include blood, which was what Mortal Kombat was mainly known for, it still followed the story and premise of the game franchise, and that shows respect to the source material and the fans who always wanted to see a live action film based on their favorite game series. A lot of directors change as time goes by, and unfortunately it doesn't look like they get any better but instead a hell of a lot worse. Some of my favorites have gone through this downward spiral such as Peter Jackson, Steven Spielberg, Tim Burton, George A. Romero, Ridley Scott, even James Cameron. Paul Anderson was never on their league but he at least had some imagination and knew what, what it takes to make a good film. But somewhere down the road, he just gave up and you saw what he left behind for us Resident Evil fans. I was hoping that he would have changed after seeing how he destroyed our hopes of seeing a good Resident Evil live action film, but now he's literally found yet another game series to leech off of without any means of giving the fans of the game franchise what they've been asking for. My deepest, deepest apologies to the Monster Hunter community. Now, just so you know, I have never played any Monster Hunter games, and the only thing I've seen are bits and pieces of gameplay here and there, and a few game trailers that have been revealed over the years for its sequels and portable releases. And even I know that everything we saw in the latest trailers to the Monster Hunter live-action film is completely wrong. Because out of all the bits of gameplay and game trailers that I remember seeing, not once did I ever see US soldiers with machine guns fighting against giant monsters. How could you still get this wrong, Paul? Have you seriously learned nothing, Paul? This isn't even a franchise that I know of, and I can tell that you fucked up. 
And you still put your waifu as the main character? Let me guess, she's not even a character in the game series, right? Answer me this one in the comments if you know the answer. <laughs> I just don't get it. After all these years, and nothing's changed with this man. But you know what? How could he change? He continues to make a lot of money every time he releases another abomination. No matter how bad they are, people still go out to see his movies. People, you need to stop buying tickets to see his films. You know they're garbage. He's targeting us gamers because he wants our money. He's not interested in giving you a movie you always wanted. He's using the name of the franchise you love so he can trick you into watching something you think you wanted. He's a corporate greedy normie, only pretending to be interested in a franchise by what it is, but is instead merely using it because it has a very big fan base. And a big fan base always equals money, lots of money. So don't give this man what he wants, because only you will lose, and he will never learn, and he will continue to butcher one franchise after another. Man, at least Uva Bowl was like, ah, fine, fuck you all, I won't give you all a single movie again. And everybody wins! But with Paul, it's not gonna end. Not unless ticket sales are flatter than Miller. So, with that said, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button to give this video a chance to grow. I'd like to thank all my Patreon supporters for their impeccable generosity. Your support means a lot to me and you are part of the reason why I try to make the best content that I can. And if you like this content, check out the rest of my channel. You'll find more entertainment from separate franchises I like to cover such as Mortal Kombat, Dragon Ball Z, Celebrity Deathmatch, Men in Black, The Mask, Batman Comics, The Terminator, TMNT, Dino Crisis, Resident Evil, and more. If you're a Patreon supporter, check out my exclusive videos such as the Gantz content. And if you'd like to show your support, go to my Patreon and support the channel, which is only a dollar. Sacrifice that McChicken for extra quality content, my friend. But anyways, I'll see you all in the next video, and remember to have an awesome day.